peanut butter candy cakes. Hello everyone. I normally jump right into a recipe, but in this case, I got to give you a little bit of a history. I found this recipe online for Tandy Cakes, K-A-K-E, and I made it and I thought, well, these are good. I'm going to post this, but I didn't realize what I was making was actually a copycat recipe of something that already existed made by a company called Tasty Cake. We don't have Tasty Cakes here in uh, my part of the world. So when I looked it up online, 1931 this company called tasty cake made something called a tandy cake and it was later renamed to a candy cake as you can see on your screen which is a cake peanut butter and chocolate now i don't know if these taste anything like the ones you can buy at the store so maybe for those of you that have access to these you can make this recipe and compare them and let me know so here we go the tandy cake or the candy cake you start off with a large bowl, add in four eggs and two cups of white granulated sugar. And as per a subscriber's request, here is my goose measuring cup. Then you'll beat this together with an electric mixer or by hand until it's thick and lemon colored. And you'll see how it changes color quite drastically after a little bit of time. When you get to this point, pour in a teaspoon of vanilla extract, as well as one cup of milk. Now I'll add some dry ingredients. That is a quarter teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of baking powder. And then finally, two cups of all-purpose flour. And just blend until that's combined. Now we're gonna pour this into a large baking dish. The recipe asks for a 15 by 10 by one inch baking dish, which is pretty much like a jelly roll pan. I just used the largest glass of bakeware that I had. Traditionally, the, the cake part of these are actually fairly thin. That's why you're looking for a larger pan. Then you're gonna bake this at 350 degrees, 20 to 25 minutes until lightly browned. And when you stick a toothpick in, this, in the middle, it comes out clean. And then you're gonna let it cool almost completely. Once it's cooled a little bit, you can spread on your peanut butter. That is one and three quarter cups of creamy peanut butter. And all you have to do is just spread it on top of the cake in an even layer. Now you're gonna allow this to cool completely. I put mine in the fridge just to speed up the process a little bit. And then you're gonna make your chocolate layer. The recipe asks for five milk chocolate bars, 1.55 ounces each, which comes up to 7.75 ounces. I used the milk chocolate chips and I had a few semi-sweet ones in there. Then you put two tablespoons of butter and I microwave this for about a minute and then I just stirred it until all that chocolate was melted. And then all that's left to do is to take the melted chocolate and pour it on top of the peanut butter layer and then spread it out very, very gently using an offset spatula just so that you get a nice thin layer over the whole top. And just be careful, you don't want to mix the peanut butter and chocolate together if you press down too hard. Just take your time and spread it out gently and then let it set completely. Once again, I put mine in the refrigerator to speed things up and then you can cut it into squares. And here's the final product. The ones that you buy in store have chocolate all the way around them. But these ones whip up really quickly and you can feed a, actually a crowd with these because it makes such a large portion of them. It's a very nice plain vanilla cake, nice and moist. And then you have the peanut butter and the chocolate on top. Very good, very simple. I don't know if it tastes anything like the ones you buy at the store, but we'd enjoyed it. Now, Tasty Cake makes another one that seems very good to me. They're called Summer Orange Cream. These have a orange buttercream with a white chocolate on the outside, which sounds awesome. This is gonna be one of my next recipes and the link to that recipe will appear here once it's done. Thank you so much for watching.